I am Dr. Pankaj Singhai, Senior Consultant in Internal Medicine, Manipal Hospital, Bengaluru. Since all of us we know about that, we are celebrating the immunization program in Manipal Hospital. So, first of all, we should know what is the meaning of immunization. Immunization means like getting vaccinated to prevent yourself for the uh, protection of the diseases and you're going to protect others as well. So, we have a significant number of increased death recent past and nowadays also. So globally, thousands of people are dying because of the severe infectious diseases and thousands more end up hospitalization because of the severe infectious diseases. So vaccines are the best uh, way to prevent these diseases. So we have a different guidelines and recommendation of the adult immunization program compared to the children. So if you compare with the WHO and US adult immunization program, we are a little different than the other world. So recommendation for the adult people in India, like everybody should get vaccinated for DPT, MMR, influenza, pneumococcal and there are other vaccines also. And people who are at high risk, they should be get vaccinated because for the typhoid, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, chicken pox, and that means varicella. So uh, the one should get vaccinated, not only going to prevent the infection disease in the particular population at the same time it's spreading of the disease of other people world also. So I would like to emphasize about the pneumococcal disease and vaccines. So pneumococcal is a very mortal disease in the form of the pneumonia, involvement in the layer of the brain and spinal cord that is meningitis, infection of the ear that is otitis media and then infection of in the bloodstream that is bacteremia. So, best way to prevent these diseases are the vaccines. So, we have two vaccines available for pneumococcal diseases. First one is a PCV, that is pneumococcal conjugate vaccine 13. It protects for the 13 strains of the pneumococcal bacteria. And another vaccine is a PPSV, that is pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine 23. that protects the 23 strains of the pneumococcal bacteria. And who should get vaccinated? So person who is more than age of 65 years, they should get vaccinated with this PCV13 followed by PPSV23 one year later. And population more than age of 19 years should get vaccinated if they have a certain medical condition like uh, infectious diseases, immunological diseases like SLE, lupus erythematous, rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma, polymyositis, dermatomyositis liver diseases, kidney diseases, diabetes, and neurological diseases like a stroke. So people who are more than the age of 19 years with some of the immunocompromised condition or at higher risk, they should get vaccinated first dose with a PCV13 followed by PPSV23 uh, after the eight weeks of gap. And who should not get vaccinated with this pneumococcal vaccine? Either at the, they have a history of allergic reaction to the same vaccine or a reaction to the vaccine which contain the diphtheria toxide that is Tdap or people who have an acute illness like viral fever, cough, cold or any acute clinical condition or crisis. And what are the possible side effects you should monitor? Like person may have a pain, inflammation at the site of injection, redness or tenderness or pain and generalized symptoms like fever, weight loss, loss of appetite, or some of the joints pain, especially in shoulders, they are not able to get rid of that. Hence, and then in terms of pregnancy, although this, there's no harm getting the vaccinated in pregnancy, but you should be cautious in pregnancy, but ideally you should be get vaccinated before pregnancy. So would like to conclude that, since pneumococcal disease is very mortal, especially in elderly population or young population more than age of 19 years, especially in immunocompromised condition. So this pneumococcal vaccine not only going to prevent yourself from the pneumococcal disease at the same time, which is going to control the further deterioration or worsening of the primary medical condition. Thank you.